Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com and uh, I'm here outside the Ferry Building in San Francisco because, you know, why not enjoy the scenery, right? And no, I'm not just here to show you the bridge and the water. I'm here to show you what you came for. It's the Nexus One, brand new, Google branded phone made by HTC, being marketed and sold through Google. Uh, just launched this morning at a Google press event in Silicon Valley. But I figured, you know what? Let's get you the uh, let's get you the video here somewhere pretty. So here it is. Uh, it's going to be 530 bucks, 529 unlocked or 179 if you buy it through T-Mobile USA with a two-year contract. So you buy it through the Google website, google.com slash phone. Uh, I believe it will be on sale at T-Mobile stores as well before too long. Let me unlock this thing so it stays unlocked. Uh, and then also Verizon and Vodafone versions coming later this spring. And Google said this is just the first in a series of devices they're going to be uh, branding and selling themselves through their new retail outlet. Interesting stuff. You can read my thoughts about that over on phonedog.com. Oh, speaking of which, also I wanted to get this video in because I'm headed out of town for a couple days. I need something to remember the Bay Area by. I headed out to CES in Las Vegas with uh, the Phone Dog crew, John, Adriana, and Aaron. We're all meeting up there starting Wednesday, January 6th. So check that out. You can go over to the uh, thread in the forums. There's a link. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link right over there on the right. Click that link to go to the official CES thread. Keep tabs on everything. All kinds of stuff will be going on this week over there. Anyway, back to the phone. Here it is, Nexus One, uh, 3.7 inch AMOLED capacitive touch display. It's got the Snapdragon processor inside of it. Uh, T-Mobile banding, so it's unlocked GSM. It'll work on AT&T in the US, but edge only. The 3G banding is T-Mobile. So you can see I'm on T-Mobile right now. I'm hooked up to the 3G. The reception's a little spotty where I am right now. Uh, Android 2.1 Eclair, and it's not, there's no HTC Sense, nothing like that, so you're getting the straight up Android 2.1 experience. Definitely some changes, we'll run through some of those in a second. Uh, it's 11.5 millimeters thin. Uh, it's very thin, very light in the hand actually. Um, it's got four buttons on the front, and then that trackball with a multicolored LED notification light on the inside. Three and a half millimeter headphone jack on the top. Five megapixel camera with LED flash and uh, I believe 720 by 480 video capture. And we'll do a little quick comparison here. Here's the Droid Eris, which uh, I don't know if the battery life's gonna last on this thing. So this is the Droid Eris currently available uh, on Verizon, also the HTC Hero on Sprint, and the unlocked version, very similar. You can see the screen on the Nexus One, just much, much larger. And uh, overall, you know, similar kind of thinness and, and rounded, uh, corners and everything, trackball and stuff, but uh, you know, the Nexus One, much larger display. And then we've got the Droid, the only other phone currently shipping with Android 2, at least in the US, uh, the Milestone or Milestone version of this over in Europe. But uh, the Droid on Verizon, also an Android 2 phone, this is 2.0, not 2.1. And uh, if you take a look, you know, the screen size is similar uh, the Droid much thicker because you've got that slide-out hard QWERTY board. And I don't know how well this is going to show up in the light there, it's kind of the relative brightness of the display and that kind of thing. Anyway, so back to the, uh, back to the Nexus One here. You've got on the front here new weather widget, we'll tap on that, and you've got your weather, and then you've got, you know, your forecast down there, and you can tap and you can get that, uh, that graphic that if you saw the the Google uh, presentation this morning, the press conference, they're showing off with the humidity and the temperature and all that, and you can kind of go through by day. Very Google, very geeky and functional. And then also it's a news widget, and you can see I'm scanning by time down there. So you can tap on top stories, and you can get your news feeds right there. Scroll through. More top stories uh, arranged by category, US, sports, entertainment, that kind of stuff. What's going on here? Uh, yeah, all right, whatever. Uh, Allen Iverson up for the rest of the season with the Sixers. Of course, you've got the notifications bar, uh, as you're used to on Android. We'll go back home. Uh, a little bit different of a look here. You tap and you get your applications there on the bottom. You can see that, that grid button and you tap for home. And then kind of a 3D effect here, scrolling through the applications. Uh, a lot of talk this morning about the 3D graphics and the new Android 2.1 Eclair release. Uh, and you know, some phones will be able to support it, some won't because of the processing power and graphics power needed to support some of these animations. 
Uh, we'll go into the photo gallery here. I'll show you what I'm talking about a little bit. This is one of the widgets, or not widgets, one of the apps they shut off. It's a new photo gallery. Looks really good, I think, much better, much more kind of eye candy and fun than the older Android photo galleries. So if we go to this one here, you can see the photos kind of line up, and then we'll uh, rotate the phone, the accelerometer kicks in, and then as I rotate the accelerometer, I don't know if you can see this in the uh, video, but the, the grid of photos actually kind of tips, which is just kind of fun, and it's not necessarily like, you know, oh, well, this is so important, but it's fun, and people like fun, but also it just kind of shows off some of the capabilities that, you know, developers can work with as far as 3D graphics and, you know, just, just visual eye candy and interaction with the accelerometer, stuff like that. So, you know, we'll have to see what happens, but pretty cool. And then uh, I can, you know, switch my view and I can view by date. I can go back and then I can click a little bar and I can scan by date and just a much better gallery experience uh, than previous releases of Android, at least on, on first tap, on first glance. Uh, I'll go back in, I'll go to graffiti and we'll pick one of these photos. And, uh, you know, you can see there's no multi-tap, it's not multi-touch enabled. Uh, you can double tap to zoom in and out. The zooming works really well. Um, zoom back, but no multi-touch on the phone. That's something that Google is not supporting at this time. They're leaving it up to individual companies. And even though HTC made this phone, there's no Sense UI or no, you know, HTC software enhancements like on the Droid Eris or the Hero or what have you. So it's stock Android 2.1 Eclair, and uh, you're not going to get multi-touch. Uh, also shown off today was the new uh, text-to-speech functionality of the phone, which is pretty cool. So, navigate to Las Vegas. Look at that. Navigate to Las Vegas from right here at the ferry building. And being a 2.x release of Android, you get the Google Nav built in. So here's my driving directions to Vegas, 562 miles. Well, lucky for me, I'm flying. I don't have to do this because uh, 10 hours in a car, I'd rather take the hour and a half flight. So text-to-speech uh, text works, you know, across the system, Google search, obviously the navigation, and uh, anywhere that there's a text field, you should be able to uh, just speak. So you can speak tweets, speak emails, you know, that kind of stuff, which, um, you know, should be pretty nifty, and maybe it will reduce issues people have with texting while they're driving, stuff like that. Uh, also in here, you've got, you know, the contact system in Android 2 with integration with Facebook and, uh, you know, all that stuff, your social networking and everything, quick contacts, all that business, which is pretty neat. Uh, also, of course, the Android web browser. Again, not multi-touch like we said, but uh, still pretty cool. Uh, the screen, like I said, 3.7 inches, 800 by 480. Uh, on the spec sheet on the google.com slash phone site, they list contrast ratio and and, uh, and response time like this was a monitor. So uh, pretty interesting. It'd be interesting to see some quality video played back on the device. We'll load up phone dog real quick. Uh, this is, again, on T-Mobile 3G right now, not on Wi-Fi. And we can go ride screen mode as well. And still loading up. We'll tap in. And use your trackball to get around. And there you go. I could do a plug for our forums, but I'm not going to do that right now. And then uh, you hit the menu key, and you can go to new windows, bookmarks, you know, all that stuff that you're used to doing in the new Android 2.0 browser. And so there you go. Uh, overall, you know, I've been told that battery life is really good by some people who've been using the phone for a while now. We'll have to check that out, you know, for ourselves. Again, uh, currently, the only version available is Unlock GSM Quad Band with uh, support for T-Mobile's 3G frequencies, uh, the CDMA version for Verizon, which will not be unlocked, and then also a Vodafone-compatible 
version will be launching uh, in the spring. But for now, if you want this one in the US, you can use it on any GSM networks, the T-Mobile, AT&T, but on AT&T, it's Edge only. $529 direct unlocked, $179 if you get it through T-Mobile with a two-year contract. And so there you go, it's kind of a first hands-on of what uh, is arguably the best Android phone going right now, certainly the newest one in the Google Nexus One, built by HTC. And real quick, let's also look at the live wallpapers, because that's one of the new features we wanted to check out. So let's pick, uh, let's go VU meter. Now let's do water. So the live dynamic wallpapers, and uh, I believe as I tap, it makes ripples. That's just kind of fun, you know, not something you need per se, but kind of neat. Make some ripples in the water. Making ripples in the water, by the water. I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com, that's me in the reflection. Much, much more on the Nexus One uh, in the coming days from Las Vegas, CES, all the new stuff coming out. Who knows what's going to be there, but we'll be there. So tune in on PhoneDog.com, on YouTube, wherever you watch your videos, doesn't matter, and check out the PhoneDog forums. Till uh, Vegas. I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.